every single mistake that you make is a blessing because you're still above ground. So that means you have a chance to correct your mistake. Without mistakes in life, there is no growth. You have to make errors in order to finally come to the solution of your problems and the obstacles you're trying to overcome. People take these mistakes and these failures and they replay them over and over again in their head. They keep replaying that loss and feeling the emotions that are associated with the loss or the mistake and think that's what defines them. But the truth of the matter is, there's not a successful person on this planet that hasn't made numerous mistakes. The difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is how they replay that mistake in their minds. So you could replay it as a tragedy and something that is going to deter you from doing other things, or you could look at it as a learning experience and then use that learning experience to triumph in your next try. You see, the winner of the game of life is the person that makes the most mistakes and has the most failures and learns from it, uses those opportunities to become better because the more that you fail and the more mistakes that you make, the more experience you have. Steph Curry is the greatest three-point shooter in NBA history, but Steph Curry misses more than half of the threes that he takes. Even in baseball, the odds of somebody being a great batter, they have to miss the majority of the time they take the swing. And you have to look at your mistakes and your failures like that. It's just a swing and a miss. But if you keep swinging, if you just keep swinging over and over again, eventually you are going to hit it. Eventually you're going to make that shot. People get paralyzed because they think that them missing that shot or that swing defines them and that's who they are but really and truly it was just a try it was just an attempt and you could always attempt again don't let age or the amount of times that you have missed or failed stop you from continuously pursuing what it is that you want the only time you really fail is when you give up so you have to train your mind to enjoy it, to love it. I love failure. I try to get as many failures in as possible. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm not looking to fail. I want to win. But I don't care about being perfect. I just want to try. I just want to keep pushing forward. And you should have that same mentality. Embrace the failure. Embrace the mistakes. Because there is nothing that, that can be gained Without these things, you have to have failures. You have to have mistakes in order for you to grow. If you can invert it in your mind to look at it as a positive and not a negative, then your whole perspective changes. Each rep brings you closer to success. Count your failures. Look for a 100 failures because guess what? Within that 100 failures, there's going to be a win. I saw a quote one time where the person said when they're making sales calls, they look to get a hundred no's. That's an amazing way of looking at it because if you're looking at it as each no is a defeat, it's going to make you feel negatively about the whole process. But if you turn it around and you look at each no as one step closer, then everything becomes easier and life becomes a lot more fun. Embrace the no's. Embrace the failures. Look for them. Look forward to them. But once you invert, you are now in control of how you perceive things. The perception is no longer in control of you. And that is the big part that is going to change everything for you. You must always remember that life is just a game of conquests. If you're playing a video game, you're going to lose a lot of times before you defeat that final boss. You're always going to lose a lot more than you win most times in life. It's very rare that 
somebody wins all the time or the majority of the time. You have to lose a lot in order to win. The only thing that's stopping you is how you perceive it in your mind. If you perceive it as something negative, then it's going to paralyze you. If you perceive it as something that is just a necessary step to get you where you need to be, then everything changes and everything becomes so much more enjoyable and so much better because now it's just a game. The losses, the failures, the mistakes, they just become part of the game. And when you change the game, you change your life. Everything in this life is all about mental framing. How you frame things in your mind mentally will make a monster difference, a gigantic difference on how your life turns out. Today, I hope you could reframe failure in your mind as something that is positive. Reframe all the negativity in your life when it comes to mistakes and perceived failures as just steps to the goal. And you will realize that once you make this change, success is inevitable. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great weekend. Peace.